Hi guys, this is the Ranting Weasel again. Uh, tonight, we're going to talk about something uh, near and dear to my heart. Uh, the Cleveland Browns. Yeah, go ahead. Laugh it up. They're my team, and I'm good with that. Uh, <laughs> they they suck, okay? And, and I've been a Browns fan since I was a kid, okay? My, my stepdad's from Akron, Ohio, and uh, I got it from him. Uh, they were the first professional football game I ever went to back when they used to play in Cleveland Municipal Stadium, the mistake on the lake, okay? Uh, and, you know, they've never been good in my lifetime. I mean, I even missed out on the, the Kosar years, you know. Uh, when I was a kid, Vinny Testaverde was the quarterback. And it's just, it's hard to be a Browns fan, okay? It, it really is. You know, first off, they stole our team and, and moved them to Baltimore, uh, which is why I refer to that team in Baltimore as the Evil Browns. Um, and then, uh, you know, they, they give us another team and, and we're back in the league and everything. And we've just become the place where quarterbacks go to, to die. <laughs> really? I mean, Tim Couch, Colt McCoy, uh, uh, Johnny Mangel. Uh, it's just, you know, we don't, we don't give our, our quarterbacks the weapons they need. You know, uh, the offensive line, the, the defense ain't too bad, but they ain't great neither. It's just, it's, I don't even watch them anymore. I mean, it doesn't help that I'm in Texas and I don't, you know, get the NFL Sunday ticket package. So I can't watch whatever game I want to watch. But I mean, even when they're on, I try not to watch them. Um, just that there's just too, so much that I can take, you know, and, and that's just too much. Um, it's just, <laughs> We're looking at at zero and sixteen. I mean, we're we're in week sixteen now. You know, we've we've got another another week left in the season after this one, and and here's the thing that gets me is is they are going to throw them a fucking parade for the perfect season if they hit zero and sixteen. Like seriously, hi me creep. Yes, I have help tonight from my puppies because I'm indoors. Um, just don't feel like getting all wet and shit outside. So um, they might pop up in the frame from time to time. Um, but uh, it's just uh, uh, another YouTube video that I watched a couple years ago put, put it perfectly. Uh, Cleveland Brown Stadium is, is a factory of sadness. Hi, buddy. Lay down. Hi, buddy. Lay down. Yes, that's this is the the my half pit, half lab mix that I talked about on my Dangerous Dogs video. Um, the happiest puppy I know. Anyhow, um, you know, I, I've been a, a loyal Browns fan since I was a kid. Uh, well, of course, when I first started watching football, I, I was a fan of the, the L.A. Raiders at that time. Uh, of course, you know, they had Howie Long and, and Bo Jackson, and, and they were just a good team, you know. But then... Then my mom married my stepdad, and, and he had a team. You know what I mean? And he grew up as a Browns fan, Cleveland Indians fan, Cavs fan, just a fan of Cleveland sports in general, which, you know, if you're from Northeast Ohio, you're either a Pittsburgh fan or a Cleveland fan. That's how it is. Well, I can't stand Pittsburgh, so I go with Cleveland. You know, that's that's about the only thing that me and me and the evil Browns fans have in common is we can't stand Pittsburgh, you know. Uh, it's... <laughs> It's just how do you get a parade for going 0 and 16? And and the worst part is is we suck so bad we aren't even the first team to go 0 and 16. No, that belong that that honor belongs to my brother's Detroit Lions, <laughs> you know, and they're actually doing good. Like how is it that Detroit is doing better than Cleveland? Well, shit, it used to be that Cleveland was at the bottom of the AFC and and Detroit was at the bottom of the NFC and and I was good with that. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, my team sucks, but my dad and my brother's team sucks just just as bad, you know, <laughs> just as bad. But uh, you know, it's just 
they just don't it's it's mismanagement and and like like I said, they just don't give them any weapons to work with. You know, they they get these these good fresh quarterbacks. You know, uh Tim Couch was a decent quarterback. But he didn't have any fucking weapons. Didn't have any protection. How are you supposed to do your job as a quarterback if you're worried about foot, footsteps all the time? You know what I mean? It just it, it it's it's not possible. <laughs> you can't focus on your receivers and shit downfield if you're wondering about how how your line's going to hold up and if somebody's going to blindside you, you know? And shit, look at what happened to Joe Theismann when he got blindsided. I mean, granted, that's an extreme case, but it could still happen, okay? You know, it's just, it's nuts. You know, and we have such a, a loyal fan base for the Browns. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm, I'm down here. There's even a, a Dallas area Browns backers club. Okay, so there's there's a a not enough Browns fans where they have seven eight locations around the city where all they do on Sundays is watch the Cleveland Browns game. Okay, like, damn, how do you disappoint us year after year after year and expect us to stay? And granted, I'm not going nowhere. I love my my Browns. They're my team. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Yes, lay down. I'm trying to talk to the camera, buddy. You're a good boy. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at my team because they suck. You know? Um shit, nine years ago we went ten and seven and or ten and six and, and missed the fucking playoffs. Then we turn around and go, what, three and fourteen or three and twelve or three and thirteen or something like that? Four and twelve? Hey, Jesus, we went four and twelve and then ten and seven and then four and twelve. Like, that's the best season we've had since we came back was the ten and seven season. And we didn't even make the playoffs. What the fuck kind of bullshit is that? You know, and, and really when it comes to Cleveland sports, the, the Browns are the bastard child. They really are. They're the redheaded stepchild. You know, you got the Cavs with, with, uh, uh, King James and, and he does a, a hell of a job and he's turned that program around. Uh, you got the Indians, you know, late nineties, the Indians were the shit. Uh, they went to the world series twice. Lost both times, but they made it twice. Okay. But then you have the Cleveland Browns and it's just like, they're, they're like the bastard child, you know? I mean, obviously they, they, they weren't important enough for the city to make a fight to make them stay the first time. But they did extract a promise from the league that we would get a team. It's just ludicrous, you know. Uh, we need a. We've got RG three now, but even he's not healthy. What we need is a good veteran quarterback who's still got some years left in him, and then a good young quarterback. Okay, and let the veteran start. Let him start. Let him. Let the young guy learn. Okay, that's why we need some years left in him because we need a good starting quarterback. Okay. It's just we need a good starting quarterback. Otherwise, we're not going to be competitive. Obviously. You know, we need some better receivers. We need more pieces on the defense. You know, they do have some pieces, but they just don't have enough to to make a difference. You know, football is definitely a team sport. It's not like baseball where you can go out and, and buy a position player. You know, you need a shortstop, so you go out and get the best shortstop available on the market. No. You, football, you need to be able... Yes, you need to play your position, but you need to be able to play with the other people on the field, too. They, there needs to be that chemistry. It's like hockey. It's like basketball in that. I mean, it, you don't have the same pace, but you still need that chemistry on field, okay? I mean, look at Tom Brady. You know, he was a hell of a quarterback at Michigan. And he gets picked up by the Patriots, and the Patriots had a, a hell of a line and and some weapons for him to work with. And look at the dynasty that he's created there. I mean, so you had deflate gate and all that, but but the bottom line is is Tom Brady is a hell of a quarterback. You know? Would Tom Brady ever come to Cleveland? Fuck no. Why? Because he'd get creamed. He'd get creamed left and right. We we just need a, a, a decent veteran quarterback. And and some decent weapons for him to use. You know, we got some good young kids and shit, but 
it, it's hard to play week in and week out when you're constantly losing. That takes a toll on your morale. It takes a toll on your self-esteem as a player because you think that oh, if you could have done something better, when it's really not just necessarily you, it's the other pieces. Okay? We just need to get some decent pieces that can work together. Okay? We need a veteran quarterback. We need a good young quarterback. And like I said, RG3 is a fine quarterback, but he's at the end of his rope, man. You know, we need somebody that's got a good five years left in him that's proven himself, okay? That can take some beatings while we get a line together. It's just, you can't win in football without a good team, you know? And and if they don't put a good team together in football in Cleveland, they're never going to win. You know, shit, we haven't, we haven't won anything since before the Super Bowl was invented, okay? Before the Super Bowl. We have NFL, a couple of NFL titles, but we have no Vince Lombardi trophies, no Super Bowl rings, no Super Bowl championships. It's just ludicrous. You know, and then in the 80s when we were decent, we'd go up and we'd hit fucking Elway and the Broncos and get slapped the fuck back down. So, anyhow, this has been the Ranting Weasel. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And that way you go ahead and get uh, notifications when I put up a new video. Uh, Go ahead, leave your comments with any suggestions or or thoughts on the matter. Um, And y'all have a good night.